Okay. Let's take a deep breath. Again, I'm probably going to do a two hour block. If I don't do the highlights, there will be blocks to, you know, what you can watch for free. Ross is one of the biggest live streamers of the okay. past two years who recently got a massive payout that Let's is get into it. How worth long is this? tens of millions of dollars to abandon Twitch and move to a new live streaming platform called Kick. Ever since this move, he has been on a tire Yikes. of shock value content, saying and doing whatever he wants to go viral, and it's working. Kick has an extremely lenient terms of service, so he now has the comfortability to speak his mind freely without Chat. potentially losing his money. And these days, he is not. Chat, I'm not keeping a buck though. I'm not gonna be a glazer. It's from the service, I think it has nothing to do with it. I'm just gonna say holding back. I'm sure there's now, other not people like doing this. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the only one you know, doing this. When I documented his come up two years ago, I covered all of his major controversies, as well as the genuine hard work it took to reach the top of the live streaming industry. At that point, he was definitely an edgy kid, but it seemed like his heart was in the right place. These days, his intentions are unclear. So let's take a look at what happened to Aiden Ross. From streaming with every major rapper in the industry, losing his girlfriend, making extremely down bad content, meeting Andrew Tate, Yo. and changing his entire online persona forever. Picking up where we left off around May of 2021, Aiden was on top of the world. He was one of the top five most subscribed and most viewed streamers on Twitch, averaging around 100,000 viewers per stream. He just reached 1 million subscribers on his Aiden Live YouTube channel, what was that? which he treats like his main channel. And he did a collaboration stream with just about every mainstream rapper in the industry. It was very clear he was, was here that? to stay, and some people didn't like that. Those people were known as the Poggers community, or as Aiden called them, the L Nerds. This community is basically composed of all the top. All right, let's see. He had to oh, pause man. it. This was like a month ago. What is this ambush streamers on Twitch who helped build the platform's the foundation fuck? years before Twitch was as what popular as it fuck, is today. Man. Poggers yo, is an emo yo, that people I... spam in the chat when something good or funny happens. Aiden's community is known as the W and L. Fucking Patrick, man. Yo, he watches, man. He's a bro. He's a he's a watcher, man. What a motherfucker. That community Whoa. is composed of Aiden's <laughs> friends and the new wave of Twitch streamers. <laughs> instead of spamming Poggers, the commenters will spam W or L. A couple of top streamers in the Poggers community threw some shade at Aiden and his viewers. His viewers are like the kids in high school who want to be cool. You know, like, oh, like, I like rap, I like, you know, like this sort of stuff. Like, kind of like hype beast ish. Yeah, they're all like, very you know, hype beast ish. Like, like, they think, like, if Supreme was cool, they think it would be cool. Sort of I, I go in there and I I, I, yeah. I I literally have fun in Aiden Ross's stream because I don't watch it. <laughs> I think but I'm literally just a boomer like take, but like, it yeah, is what I'm it is. W, I, w, 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 I just spam w w w He said spam W. <laughs> Aiden responded. Oh, what did Aiden say about this? Don't don't disrespect my viewers like that. You guys literally have fucking Hall of Fame nerds, Hall of Fame threats in your chat that spam poggers or megalo the entire stream, bro. You guys are unfunny streamers. You guys are not funny, bro. You guys are not funny at all. Fat, pimple-faced, four-eyed people with social problems. Damn. Watch you guys, bro. I don't call my. I don't call you guys. Fans. Damn. What kind of conversation do you guys think that they have fun? Do you guys think they just look at each other and say poggers, omegalo, shove an omegalo in my eyes? Like they're weird, bro. They're weird. Followed by a tweet that Aiden sent to Ludwig. You really are sad for coming at me and my community. L nerd, go play your violin. Band geek. From there, Aiden's audience went and attacked Ludwig. Yes, I don't, that I don't is think hateful territory. Is wrong, I think it's just like, uh, it's like a Spider-Man meme where it's like pointing at him, pointing at him. It's like, uh, bro, everybody, everybody either does Band live geek? content or watches it. It's the same. It doesn't matter what you type in chat. It's the same nature of why you watch. I think we're all Four eyes. Why, why are you watching this? Leave. Sending death threats to him and his girlfriend, QT Cinderella. Well, this beef yo, was really silly noise? and definitely overblown. It was solved very quickly when Aiden and Ludwig both apologized to each other. But it set the standard of how powerful Aiden's audience is. That he can militarize and accelerate his audience to defend him in any beef. But one day, they would eventually turn on him. 
In the meantime, Aiden was making an insane amount oh! of money, specifically from gambling. His top sponsor was a company called Rubet, an online crypto casino that was that paying was him at bad. least $1 oh. million dollars per month, according to a private oh. conversation that Aiden leaked himself. <laughs> so the sponsor, they pay me to play on their website, right? And then they pay me an amount to, to gamble with. Mm -hmm. However, if I lose the amount, I have to withdraw my own money. Oh, were you watching so it on the store, dog? To secure tens I started collecting that out of my dollars in profit daily without risking his own money. An average streaming day for Aiden was online gambling, talking to his chat, reacting to videos, hanging out with famous rap. Bro, I don't always say he's transparent unlike you. Bro, I, w I wish I understood that, that not only were we transparent, you're, 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 wow, you're, you're asking that we say something that didn't happen. I didn't have fills, and I'm pretty sure Train didn't have fills. What about it? That's just how it is. That was what you were offering me. Rappers, influencers, or streamers, and of course, being sus. I'm rapping in the streets. Yo, yeah. whoa. Whoa, in the streets. Whoa, bad beat Whoa. is me. No, wait, no, my no, God. No. My God. Now, despite all the success that Aiden was bringing to Twitch, they always found a way to let him know they wait, was that TLS? Him have too much power. During an IRL stream, no, Aiden was driving his Lamborghini and reading his Twitch chat at the same time. Twitch gave him a temporary ban for using his phone while driving. Yes, you can really lose the shit like quick, bro. I mean, people, I don't know, bro. I just feel horrible. I just fucked up, bro. I fucked up. I got banned on Twitch, guys. I didn't get a, anything back yet. I think it's a permanent ban. I'm going to appeal it. I was 100% in the wrong, though. I was I was at a red stoplight, and I was reading Twitch chat off my phone. Aiden realized that his career, his relevance, his freedom, was always going to be at the mercy of Twitch oh, and following their rules. I forgot that was the reason. That he would ultimately I forgot. Oh. As you can imagine, streaming for five to eight hours per day can be extremely repetitive. And having over 100,000 live viewers expecting you to bring something fresh and exciting every day is a lot of pressure. An easy way to take up some time is with drama. He started a fake beef with Rice Gum to prank their viewers. Open up now. You want to talk all that shit on Twitch? Shit? Open up. Fake beef or not, this shit is entertaining. Just a week oh, after this, no. Aiden played another prank on his viewers. He did an IRL stream where he met up with his fans, and the cops were called due to how much chaos there was on Melrose in Los Angeles. Aiden and his team set up a fake arrest Holy to money. fool his viewers, yes. but the next day he what? let everybody know that it was just a prank. His fans were not happy. He's just starting to fake everything now, when the initial reason why people I've were drawn to him this. was because he was genuine. Bro, 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 bro. Yo, what? Who knew that happened? Why you watch you like this? People get so small. Like just watching relax, man. What is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Aiden's focus has shifted from being a Twitch streamer to being this viral internet. Bro, why do you want all the people on the internet dude, to like be a bunch of chess masters at what? the chess board and be like, people don't like this guy and what he does? I'm gonna move him away. Um, this guy is cool. I'm gonna talk about him. And you're like moving your pieces, bro. Like, dude. I do shit all the time. I'm fucking busy, man. I don't the have the time to do this dumb fucking. Yo, he's busy. Yo, oh, you like you, you can't be. Sp yeah, you fuck. can't be uh, spending like, all this time. We were in his house like four months ago, and now he's saying this really weird shit on the internet, bro. I don't give a fuck. Get and he doesn't give a man. fuck. fuck so wh why are you? La Roche Posay Amphilio sunscreen visibly reduces the appearance of sun damage. Whoa, dude, I was immersed. I was immersed day F. Uh, I don't think any uh, notifications went off, so I'm chilling. Lowe's knows that when you get more savings, you get a lot more summer. That's why we've got fresh new deals, so you can heat things up and chill out all season long. Make yep, I thought that would happen. Yeah, th this guy, uh... Online today. Sensation. The whole point of Twitch is that it's raw and organic, but he's bringing this weird YouTube element to it. If this is really the direction he wants to go for money and attention, so be it. But he has to learn to embrace the hate that comes with it. His viewers were possibly overreacting. True. A few fake pranks, and they are ready to just write him off. I mentioned this to show how fickle an audience can be with live streaming. Because they spend hours of their time watching you, they develop an Bro, understanding. Who knows what this man was thinking? This is actually you schizo behavior. They like they immediately like, criticize. How are you? Say you are you, how are you supposed works. to know? Like Balancing exactly? And Twitch's you know, like rules was eventually going to give. But Aiden went back to a very classic style of content for him: e dates. In these streams, Aiden would typically invite a girl. Hunched over his desk, activities right? like change. how am I supposed to know? Or just a generally attractive girl, and he would have his streamer friend. Ch I changed. I've no one else changed. You, you, you 
never change. You can see. I change. How do you do change, that? We change. People change, man. The only people who don't evolve are the people who don't change. Fuck people who don't change. Yeah, I change. I change for the better with insane, outstanding circumstances. I. I changed. I changed. I was happy. Now I'm sad. Friends get a minute or two to talk to the girl and try and win her over. The girl would ask questions. Or they would ask her questions. Like, and she would slowly on. eliminate the contestants. Basically, the Twitch version of a classic dating show. Still to this day, this is Aiden's most popular type of content. This content eventually upgraded to IRL dates, where he would put a streamer friend of his on a blind date with a girl in person. This dynamic was a lot more realistic because 90% of the things contestants said on e dates they wouldn't actually say to the girl's face. But eventually, this would all reach a tipping point that made so uh, yeah, I was just gonna chat. I'm happy chat. It's just that today, uh, um, I, I had some shit. Oh, dude, it's, a, it's literally the same thing. Bro, look, just broke my heart, man. And look at yesterday, Aiden it's the same thing. Up. It's not really the numbers anymore, it is. But the problem is that people make me feel bad about dropping numbers. I think that's a very big problem I have. It gets to me a lot just because I'm not getting 100k like I used to. It went down from 100 to 50 to like 30, 40, 50, like 30, 40 ish now. So I, I, it gets to me. Around October of 2021, Aiden was losing. I think that's all I can take of this video. I'll, I'll be honest. To around 30 to 40,000 average viewers. It's Good totally clip. normal right there. to lose a lot you know? of viewership. Uh, 30 to 40k average would make him still an insane.